on YouTube. Kurt says seven here for the game week three review. Now, normally I do my review and preview all in one video for the upcoming game week, but uh, international game week this weekend, so there's no Premier League, no fantasy football talk really. So I decided to split up the uh, two videos because it is a special uh, game week next week because. Like I said to you guys at the start of this series, I plan on using my wild card after game week three. So here we are, the end of game week three. We're going to do the review now, but be sure for the lookout for the game week four preview because it's going to be a wild card special. You're going to see my brand new team going into the season. So uh, yeah, exciting times ahead. But for now, let's review my game week three. And here we are, game week number three, and as you can see, 50 points overall. But technically, I really got 46 points because I had to take a minus four point deduction off the score because remember last week we used up three trades. I had two free ones, but there was a minus four penalty I had to take. So really, 46 points is what I got. And as we take a look at overall rankings, as we can see here, um, I'm, I've got 162 points overall for the uh, three game weeks. I'm ranked 581,000 out of 3.6 million, or almost 3.7 million there. So, um... If you take a look at that, you do the percentages, I've already done the maths, I'm in the top 16%, so it's pretty decent, I'm happy with that, it's not the best, but definitely not the worst, so let's take a look at my team, and let's see where it all went wrong, or right, <laughs> uh, in goal, Courtois, 6 points, got a clean sheet for Chelsea, happy with that, and to be fair, my whole defence was pretty, pretty good. Um, Antonio Valencia for United, 9 points, 3 bonus points. Let's take a look at this. 3 bonus points, Antonio Valencia, clean sheet, happy days. Same with Johnny Evans with West Brom, got a clean sheet, and 2 bonus points from Johnny Evans, so I was happy with that. But unfortunately, John Stones was injured, only played 58 minutes. If he had to play that extra 2 more minutes, we've got an extra point. But unfortunately, he went off injured, and I'm looking to trade him out. Um, now, let's take a look at the midfield here. Not the best in the midfield, to be fair. Kapue, only two points, but I wasn't expecting much from him. Tadic, I was expecting a bit more from. Played 90 minutes, had chances, only got three points. Unfortunately, Southampton not scoring many goals at the minute. So, a uh, bit, bit tricky what to do with Tadic now. Uh, Mares missed a penalty for Leicester. I was absolutely devastated with that because with a penalty, it would have come a goal if he had scored it. And a uh, good chance he would have got bonus points too. So, that could, I could have been looking about seven, eight points for Mares, But not to be zero. It's Fantasy Premier League. These things happen. Uh, Eden Hazard, different story. Otherwise, 11 points for Eden Hazard. Let's take a look at him. One goal. Three bonus points for Aiden Hazard, man of the match. I was wrapped with him. And again, Nathan Redman, uh, not the best for Southampton. Got a yellow card, only got me the one point. Now look up front, lads. Aguero, my captain, only got four points. Uh, bit, bitterly disappointed, but to be fair, a lot of FPL managers either had uh, Ibrahimovic or Aguero captain this week, and uh, they both got two points. So it's not the end of the world, but I would have liked to have captain Hazard instead of Aguero, but uh, not to be. And Diego Costa got me five points. He was one of the players that I'd bring in because I knew he was going to do something. He got me an assist, but watching that game, he could have easily scored a hat-trick for Chelsea. So... Uh, Diego Costa looking bright and lively. Let's take a quick look at the bench. Foster, six points. Uh, Andre Gray, two points. Friend didn't play, got zero. That's a little concerning. Kingsley, one point as well. So as we take a look at the team, it's half decent. It's a half decent. The average here was 42 points for the week. I got 46 points, so slightly above the average. Last week, I was slightly below the average. So it all works its way out. But in the top 16%, I'm pretty wrapped with that. Let's take a look at the leagues here. The 7 FBL league, um, 
Let's take a look into this because I'm 284th, which is not the best at all. But as we take a look at Cheltenham United FC, he is on top. Got 67 this week, but a total of 219 points. Fair play to you, my friend. Now, overall, uh, I'm in the top 159,000 for Man United fans. I'm in the top 19,000 for the uh, people in Australia. And yeah, like I said before, in the top 581,000 uh, overall. But as we take a look at my team, I've only made three transfers so far this season. But that is all about to change because my wild card is activated. But uh, as we take a look at my squad value, uh, 100.8 in the squad and 0.4. So that's 101.2. Uh, overall value for their team. Yeah, so yeah, lads, that's pretty much my uh, review for game week three. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this uh, game week. It's not the worst. I've had way worse, and I've had way better. So it's about average, just slightly above average. But uh, yeah, until the next video next week, lads, I'm going to reveal my wild card. Uh, all a brand new team is what is you're expecting to see next week, which is going to be pretty fun. But uh, until next time, lads, I've been your boy, Curtis7, and uh, get your comments in below. Uh, what did you score this week, and what's your rank? And in fact, show me a picture on Twitter. Tweet me the photo, because I want to see real evidence on what you're actually uh, scoring in the FPL. But until next week, I've been your boy, Curtis7. Take care, and puts.